hi guys and welcome back to my channel um if this is your first time seeing my video you are highly welcome and if you're returning subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos you guys already know uh, how we roll on this channel okay guys so in today's video probably before i said that my name is ifia artistry and i'm a makeup artist based in nigeria okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be working on this my client uh, she came for her birthday shoots honestly and we uh, did her makeup okay first thing first um i started with my um cleaning her face with my uh, micellar water and it wipes we cleaned her face and then we went into her um, moisturizer i'm using the bomb moisturizer that's the first moisturizer used on her face i placed that on her skin and i'm using my hands to press it in after that we went into the zaron hydrating serum as the second moisturizer so i needed to keep her face very very hydrated before i you know move over to the next thing or whatever okay guys so i am hoping to have a great hydration on her skin for the rest of the day because she's going to go out under the sun she's going to you know get her photo shoot done and all that okay guys so after that i put in the uh, this primer from classic just to mystify her brow area and her nose um by the side of her nose practically the t-zone area anyway so i am going to just use my hand and make sure i press those in to just control or hold on the oil that is going to be coming out from those areas when they will start coming in so after that i use my kiss beauty setting spray to lock in the makeup i just spray it all over on her face and i'm going to use my fan and set okay guys so after that i got my foundations i mixed uh, two foundations i can't really remember the foundation brands because it has been quite a while i did this glam okay guys so um they have her body uh, skin, her skin is actually or her body is actually darker than her face so i have to try and tone down the foundation uh, shade you can see so i was trying to tone it down not so to make sure every like is not really really bright on her skin you know so after putting that down there i used my beauty sponge to blend in the foundation guys you guys have to really forgive me honestly i'm not showing the product but because she's a client and i'll just sometimes when i just get clients i'll just you know film the look and so if i'm doing that sometimes i don't really want to waste the person's time and when i start showing the products that i'm using like we're going to be wasting so many time i think that is it but i'm going to mention any product that i actually remember so in the concealer i'm using the azekiel uh, cosmetics concealer the first shade is called nude and the second one is the Zikel cafe okay so i put the both of them uh, on her highlighted places the under eye jawline forehead and her nose bridge so after that i'm using my beauty blender again the same beauty blender to blend them in okay so after blending in these places i'm going to just leave the one the in the in her under eyes like the one from the beginning of the her, her under eyes or something i'm going to be leaving them there for a while to dry up guys i don't know why when i watch my video sometimes i see that i use like so many concealers for to like to blend in the under eyes but when i'm going to be working editing is not going to be too much show i don't know what is happening but like i don't really fancy like using too many concealers on the face but i don't know how this thing used to be big when i'm watching the video but when i'm doing the makeup it used to really really be small like if i bring one scoop out from the concealer i don't really go back again i just basically use that and spread it everywhere i think it's probably the way i'm spreading it though i don't know okay guys so after that i got in i got in my uh dark shade of con um sorry I said, my dark shade of foundation to contour the face so i was using a a foundation that has this very dark shade and like no orange tone whatever because i'm looking at her body her body is really this dark especially the around her nose around her neck is really this dark that is not giving me any orange vibe and all that so i needed a concealer that is going to give me the same vibe as well so I needed a foundation that is going to give me the same vibe you guys should not really mind me i think my brain is no longer working very well <laughs> okay guys so after that i got my um 
lip stains from Bichamed Less. I use them as the contour, as the blush. I think I'm really not okay because I'm mixing a lot of words right now. <laughs> so I'm using them as my blush and I just place them the places they are supposed to be. And um, after that, so I have to go ahead now and blend the concealer that is left under the eyes. So I left them there to just, you know, give me more coverage. And honestly, once I leave the concealer under the eyes for a while, when you come back to blend, you are going to see why you left it there in the first place. So I'm just blending and blending and blending. Okay. And um, I'm just going to blend to make sure it's seamless and great and beautiful and nice, honestly. So after doing that, um, I'm going to now use my setting powder from Mera Cosmetics. I'm using the um, setting powder baking spice in the shade Cinnamon. So I'm going to be setting her under eyes with that. Ask my client why, is, why she's laughing though. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to be setting the under eyes with that and just set to make sure that everything is okay guys this is one thing about translucent setting powders you are going to set and it's going to retain the shade of your concealer or your foundation or anything like it's not going to give it in a new shade this is actually the shade of the concealer is light i know so yeah guys so i'm just going to keep a, go ahead and set the remaining places anywhere that i put my con uh, concealer i'm just going to go ahead and use the translucent setting powder to set it okay so after setting the yeah, this place these highlighted areas i'm now going to use my powder palette and my powder brush to set the rest of the face so i'm going to be setting i'm supposed to be setting with her actual powder shade actually but i don't know how as i'm looking at it right now the thing is doing me as if the thing is bright i don't know <laughs> so I'm just going to be setting that so at, at a point i noticed that she had small just a little bit of smile lines i'm just trying to set i blended and then i'm going to use my powder setting powder and set it back you can see i just got a certain powder to use and set it back because i didn't really notice before when i was setting had it been i noticed i would have set it at that point but it's still not late like it's not bad i can still go ahead and set it since i'm still doing the setting process okay guys so after that i did my contour so i was equally trying to tone down the face because as i'm looking at it right now the thing is doing me like it's a bit bright so remember her neck is really this dark it has this dark shade so i needed to you know try and give the face that darkness i'm seeing on her neck you know as much as i'm doing that work and i don't know how it's turning out the thing is doing me like the lady have a red undertone and i'm seeing a bit of red warmth on that tone mm -hmm. all right guys so moving on i'm going to be uh, adding blush to her face um the i'm using my um palette from zuru um the juvia's pa place palette from zuru in the shade zuru why am i saying from zuru jesus christ i'm using the bicham ageless cosmetics um eyeshadow palette in the shade zuru and i'm using the orange shade from it okay guys so um after doing that i did her contour and then i'm moving over to her brows i've already set the brows now i'm just making the outline basically okay so i'm gently um drawing the brows okay so just pay attention her, her brow line or her like her brows when i was carving it i really did carve it to give me this beautiful and nice shape so what i need to do right now is just to make the outline and i'm good to go because i already did the work that i'm supposed to do um okay guys so i was done with the other side of the outline now moving over to the second part of the brows i'm just outlining it again and trying my best to make sure the two of them are the same thing even though they said not me i'm not the one that said it they said that brows and are, are sisters they are not twins so you're going to do your best to make sure they look alike sisters doesn't really are not the same identical but they look alike okay if you can make them look like identical then you should but if not so don't kill yourself <laughs> look at me encouraging myself with what i don't know okay guys so after that i use my davis pencil to fill in the brows 
I'm using the shade 003 of course and after that I go ahead and conceal the brows I'm using my mirror cosmetics um, flat brush and I'm using my concealer in the shade nude from Zico cosmetics please if you are not in Nigeria all these products mostly that I'm using they are all mostly Nigerian brands Please, if you are not in Africa or you are not in Nigeria, please, you can purchase any products. Honestly, I don't really think products really do have a lot to do with your out your output or sorry, the outcome of your work, even though it has a lot to do with it. But um, if you are good with makeup, you are good. Honestly, most of the things I use, they are not high end brands. Most of them are drugstores. Most of them are just Nigerian brands. And Nigerian brands, most of them are not high-end products, okay? So um, if I can achieve a nice look with them, you can really achieve a nice look with any product that you see anywhere you are. Alright guys, so I was done considering the down part of the brows and now I'm moving over to the upper part of the brows. I'm just, you know, trying to just define the brows and just outline and make sure that everything is okay. Um, I think the upper part of the brows, the thing had, especially the first side I concealed, the thing has... Um, I don't know small small issues that I was trying to control and I'm trying to conceal and make sure everything is good okay guys so I was done with that I'm using the same mirror cosmetic setting powder to bake her face I'm going to be baking the under eyes honestly the reason why I'm putting the setting powders here is not really to bake or to do any specific work I'm just trying to catch her fallout from her eyeshadow um, at this point, honestly, I don't think I knew the eyeshadow look I'm going for, but me, as some, sometimes I just go with the flow when I start doing the eyeshadow, whatever comes to mind. Especially when I ask my clients or my model um, what look, probably clients, what looks they are going to go for if it's a bit glam, especially when they say, oh, if you do your thing. So when I start placing on the eyeshadow, um, whatever comes to my head or whatever comes to mind, I do. And when I do those things, they normally come out great. So at this point, I, I don't really have an idea what I was going for, but I was just putting on my primer, my eyeshadow primer. I'm using the uh, Benai Clone White eyeshadow primer, and I made my transition. I have to do these steps first before I think of any eyeshadow or any look I'm going for. Sometimes it just, when I open my eyeshadow palette, whatever color that will be like, oh, which color have I not used here before? <laughs> so sometimes the this is actually how I select eyeshadow that I'm going for. You know, um, I'm not this person that I don't really believe in whatever the clothes you are going to wear determines the eyeshadow you are going to wear. Um, except, except if my client demands for a nude look, then I know I'm going for nude. If my client demands for something um, heavy or whatever or a specific color, then it's different. Sometimes it's just me opening my palette and I look at the eyeshadow palette and I'll be like oh I've not touched this color before then I'm putting you on sometimes it just you know I'll just so I'll just look at my palette and I'm gonna play with it you know I think right now I don't really do much of colors no more people that used to know me or follow me earlier on knows I work a lot with colors okay but I'm going to bring that back anyway just stay tuned okay guys so i have forgotten where we stopped okay so i made the transition and i put on a darker shade and then first of all i put a white shade of eyeshadow in the beginning of the eyeshadow and then i'm going in with my powder this is actually a powder not an eyeshadow i think is a powder so i'm putting that next to the white eyeshadow that i put in the beginning of the eyeshadow being of her eyeballs or something all right so i'm going what i'm going to do now is to blend to make sure that there is no hash lines because when i'm doing eyeshadow for any reason i make sure i avoid hash lines honestly please equally do when you are doing your eyeshadow make sure there is no honestly hash lines i tell my student this all the time make sure there is no hash lines when you are doing your eyeshadow avoid it Okay guys, so at, at the at this point I was done with the eyeshadow, the upper part. Now I'm going in with I'm going in with um, a darker shade to smudge out the under eyes. So I'm just you know smudging it out, nothing serious, honestly, nothing really serious. So I just asked the model, my client, to look up. I don't know why I keep saying models. Please, she's not a model, she's a client. <laughs> Ask my client to look up and she's looking up and then I am you know smudging out the under eyes using a darker shade 
of eyeshadow okay guys so after that before i begin to line the brows i don't know if i cut it or we didn't film that process i first of all take out any fallout that is on her face please do make sure you remove all the fallout before you begin to outline or begin to draw the liner because just me touching these eyeshadows is going to keep a leave a stain on the eyes and that is what you wouldn't want to see you wouldn't want to see the eyeshadow shade stained all over her face because at this point when you are drawing you are going to be touching the skin okay thereby messing around or messing up with the eyeshadow eyeshadow that is on her face okay okay guys so before um after that i am lining her eyes with this um zaron cosmetics gel liner and i'm using my ra random um, brush all right guys so um i think i did the uh, lashes and every other thing mascara thing of camera and then i'm trying to set the face i'm using my powder palette that's the bishamageless powder palette i'm using that to just set 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 and remove all the um and removing every um excess powder that is still left on her face you know and after that i did my blush again i did everything i just you know run through everything again okay guys so after this i got my she glaze a darker shade i don't really know the name of the she glaze i mean the shade of the brand I, the brand is from TM, TM Essentials. I'm talking about the shade. I can't remember the shade of this one. So it's this dark shade. And then the second one I'm using is called Bubble. Still from the same branch, TM Essentials. So I love their she glaze actually. They give the, the look this glowy, dewy effect. Okay guys, so after that I'm using my Nia setting spray to set the makeup. Everything I have done so far. I set and then use my fan to dry it after that guys I'm moving over to the eyeshadow and to the lip oh my god to the lips honestly I, don't, I think I'm tired <laughs> I think I've worked so much today <laughs> okay guys so I'm moving over to the lips I'm using the dark shade um, lip stain from Bisham Edgeless Cosmetics I don't know I used to use the um, dark shade from um, classic before but the classic shade is nice though but i think it dries the fact that this lip stain from bisham ageless cosmetics does not dry up fast is one of the reason why i use their products like i love when i place on a lip stain i'm going to be able to use my brush and smudge it out if i'm doing that to classic it's going to dry up and when it dries up and i'm forcing to blend it it will start breaking i don't know if you understand but this lip stain is so so light so lightweight it doesn't really dry so fast you can come back and blend you can see had it been i'm using like classic that i used to use before immediately i just place it i'm going to blend place and blend place and that's what i'll be doing you know so i think that's why i give it up to this brand honestly so they are trying all right guys so after that i blended out then i'm moving into the um i think the shade nude from still the same brand i'm just going to place them there and uh, let my uh, my client smack her lips and then i'll go ahead and um blend again blending the two lip stains together now trying to make sure that i have a seamless and so lovely blend honestly okay guys so i'm going to ask so sometimes i used to ask my clients to smack her so smack their lips smacking the lips is one of my best way of blending the lips i'm telling you when they smack you can never really compare smacking the lips and blending with your brush smacking the lips helps you a lot like it's it makes the work so easy and so smooth for you honestly but that is still by the way um yes, there are some lip stains that you can't really smack if you smack them you're going to really ruin everything okay guys so having said that i'm going over to adding the gloss on her lips so i'm using the gloss that i have to just a clear gloss and i'm adding that on the lips 
quietly just doing that running that over making everything look amazing and lovely classy and beautiful okay guys that is just it's nothing really serious honestly and um okay that is it and after that oh yeah this is a checking out moment she checked herself out and yeah i think it was giving what you want <laughs> Okay guys, so after that I used my spray and I sprayed on her face. This is the all nighter spray. Um Ferrarushi all nighter. So I used that. That is a fixed spray. So I sprayed all over her face and I dry with a fan. Guys, this is the end of the makeup. I hope you love it so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Put on your post notification in case I post my new video. I love you so much. Bye.